Hey everybody. So I am on a just wait for some people to get in here before I start blabbering. And another one. Hey Teresa, hey Grams Beth. So I'm out here outside of Avista Utilities. I've gone around their entire campus and on a public road here. This is, I believe, Indiana possibly. And this woman here thinks she can tell me that I can't be out here because this is public property. But there is clearly on that sign right there, a city of Spokane sticker. Let's see what this guy has to say. I ain't gonna talk to him. I don't care. I know I ain't doing anything wrong. So again, I'm gonna try to zoom in on it there. So right there on that sticker, that says that this sign was installed by the city of Spokane. So, not sure why this Yahoo, these Yahoos think they get to tell me that this is a, a public, or excuse me, a private road. Private road, why is the city of Spokane installing signs on their private road? I looked this up before I came and I didn't see that this was a private road. I saw this as a public road. So, as she said, they've got me on camera. See if this Yahoo's going to do anything here. Yeah, there are idiots everywhere. You're right about that, Elaine. Yeah, see, he's smart. He knows better. So I didn't, I wasn't live when she came out, but she came out and tried to tell me that this this is a Vista's property. Well, there's a public sidewalk, all public lighting, public signage on the roads. So I don't understand how this could possibly be considered private. Unless there's really something fishy going on with our utility here. Hey, time for changes. Hey, 420, I'm down at the Avista headquarters down here on um, like Perry in Indiana or something like that. I'm not sure what road I'm on at this point. Uh, Crescent View, I think, is what I'm on. It's like Mission and Riverside and Crescent View. That was kind of a last minute thing, 420. Sorry, man. Yeah, I agree, it really is. You know, it's interesting. I mean, in, for all intents and purposes, it could be a private road because it really just goes around this way back to the main road, which is Mission Road. Sorry, it's a little bouncy. I got both my cameras here, new setup. Uh, so yeah, here, more street signs with a, a no parking, it's a bike lane. So, and I came down right here behind this truck, there's a little pathway coming right down from up there. That's a public pathway coming down to this road. I don't know why a Vista would allow people to come down a private, around a, a pathway that's on their private property to come right down into it without putting some kind of signage up or anything like that. Here's another person walking on this road. Maybe it's, just, it's that side that's private, not this side, I don't know. Or maybe it was just that she's an idiot and has no idea except for, oh my God, there's somebody doing something that I don't like. Oh, sorry. I guess a little bit of my camera is in there. My other camera. Hey, Chicago Land Cop Watch. Hope y'all are having...
this is where I started my recording was right through here. Yeah, good old Spokane just fell. <laughs> How you doing, man? It's been a while. So this is where I started, was back here on gate five, and I proceeded around that side. We'll go through here, take, oh, sorry, I guess I didn't, better flip it around. Sorry, guys. Had to restart the connection, and then you realize that the camera was flipped back around. So there's my security friend right through there at the gate. He's keeping an eye on me. His dummy up here in the security gate came and uh, she told me I couldn't be here. And so I just went back to check to make sure I didn't see any signs that said I couldn't be where I was. And didn't. <laughs> So then I came back, and now she, she's already, I'm sure, made, been way aware that I'm not doing anything wrong. All right, I was just trying to get our security guy, but he went back in there. We'll film a couple of these yahoos driving in here. I just wanted to go live because they made contact with me, so I just wanted to go live and protect myself. Yeah. Camera terrorist strikes again, <laughs> just feel dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Possibly. Ooh, that's a sweet four-wheeler, man. That guy's going to go have some fun. There is a good shot. And the gates with both of them open. All oh, their secure stuff that I can't be filming from the public sidewalk, like their security. There we go. Hey guys, I keep, for some reason, it keeps dropping the connection. I agree. This is their waste drop off building here. Sorry, I didn't film that very much when I was going by. I was busy filming other stuff and talking. So, to those of you that are aware, the reason I'm here today is because this group of yahoos is some of the ones that lobby to have the aquatic invasive species checkpoints put up in our area. Uh, they claim that if their dams get contaminated with the quagga and zebra mussels, that our energy rates will just skyrocket. So it's important for us to give up our freedom of traveling without being harassed by our masters and government and stop when we're traveling with the boat so they can make sure there's none of these muscles on there. And I don't debate that the muscles probably would cost them some to clean off their dams. I don't debate any of that. I don't debate that they would even be very invasive to their dams. So, I understand their complaint, I just don't think we should have to give up our freedom so that these guys can just keep raping us for, you know, the, the dams they use, they didn't pay for, we did. So I don't want to, there's some bad stuff in Wapato Alvaro, I can only imagine there is. I did this summer a couple times, uh, just Phil, but they were, I went mainly for my daughter's soccer tournaments that she had. I'll see if I can get this lady to come back out again. I'll ask her if she found out if this is public or private property that I'm on. This is, this is freedom, being able to do things that maybe other people don't like, but I'm not hurting anyone, I'm not damaging anyone else's property. Oh, I don't know, 420, I don't know if I'm staying in here today. I got some more work I gotta get done at the house. I gotta paint Eve's room, get some stuff done. I was just on my way back home. Yeah, well, it, uh, Chicago land. Apparently, the quagga and zebra mussels came from the Great Lakes, and the, there in the Hudson River is what they say in all the research I've done. So, oh look, and here's another paratransit. I don't think the public transit buses would be coming through if this was a private road. Well, this lady up here is a wee bit of a tyrant. Kind of 
impose her will on others. I don't feel comfortable with you walking out here. Yeah, exactly. You need in Yakima too. I know the whole state's corrupt. Uh, not just the state of Washington. It's every every government is corrupt. It's by nature and design. Because you're making decisions, a few people for a bunch, and then you bribe some of the other civilians in the area, you give them bribe money so that they will enforce the rules that you create, whether they're moral or just or ethical or not. So again, like I said, we're at the Vista headquarters here in Spokane, Washington. I don't know what the contact information is. And actually the head security guy was pretty good. It was this yahoo up here that told me I wasn't allowed. First, she wanted to know if I worked here. I told her I wasn't really comfortable answering that question. So there she is again. There's our wonderful star of the hour. If I can't get a good picture of her in there. At any rate, staff deliveries. Anyways, now we're going to cross the street. There's no more sidewalk on that side, and I would hate to be accused of trespassing on their beautiful property. That guy over there, he can because he works there, not me. Yeah, well, she's right in that office right there. Just, uh, as soon as she saw me again, she tucked back in there. I'm sure she's been informed that what I'm doing is okay. Oh, here's our guy again. Let's see what he's got to say. He, he pulled over next to me before, and I was going to say hi to him, but then he got on the phone. Maybe I'll talk to him up here this time. They're really driving around and concerned about me. You know, there's people walking in public. We gotta watch him. Yeah, pull in there, buddy. I'm just gonna stay in as I go by this public parking lot here. I agree, free Jimmy Wade, mechanical Mike. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there he pulled up here. I'm going to walk up there and see if I can't say hi to him real quick. I'm just not going in their parking lot, though. I'm not an idiot. But I'll get back out here to this other public road and get on their parking lot. See if he's got something to say up here. Come to Pasco, man kinds of requests, huh? I don't know, maybe this is harassing. I kind of feel like I'm being stalked. I'm a member of the public out here in public, and I feel like I'm getting stalked. It feels kind of strange. Let's go up here and see if I can ask him real quick. He's got his window down. Hey, excuse me, sir. 
Excuse me, sir. Uh, did you? This is a public road here, right? No, the road is public, right? The road is, yeah. The road okay. All right, uh, yeah. Would you just make sure to tell us? She came out barking orders. I'm just a member of the public, man. She comes out barking orders that I can't be over there. I didn't know that a Vista owned all the roads where the city was signs up. Sidewalks to the public. Yeah, yeah. Did you inform her of that so she knows? So she doesn't. Okay. I appreciate that, man. You bet. Have a good day. He didn't really want to talk, which is fine. I didn't really want to talk to him either. Sometimes you just got to say some stuff. So there you go, she came out and started barking orders. I wasn't confrontational, I even walked back to where she said I came onto their property. Saw that there were no signs there. Obviously she hasn't hassled me again, so I guess she's been corrected. Give us one more little view of the, the place there. So anyways, guys, oops, sorry. I didn't realize I left the zoomed out like that. <laughs> I agree, Phil. I don't know that he's going to be able to meet up with me. I didn't come to hang out. I just came to do an audit. I already walked around the whole building. Yeah, you're right about that time for changes. You know, it's kind of funny. Nobody really seemed to have an issue with me here. Uh, it was just the security lady at that front gate there. She's the one that got all butthurt. You can't be taking pictures of this. <laughs> so at any rate, I'm safe. I don't see any cops trailing me or anything like that. So I'm gonna shut down the live feed to save on battery just in case. Ah, <laughs> you got a bill in there, Washington Water. <laughs> yeah, they still had that on the side of their building, their main building. They still had that logo on there. So. All right, well. Here's one more view of it, the campus there. You guys have an excellent rest of your day. And remember, we celebrate our freedoms. We don't exercise privileges given to us by masters. We celebrate our freedoms that we have because we're alive. Nobody granted them to us. If anyone granted them to us, they can be taken away. Y'all have a great day.